my name is Patrick and I'm here with Green Lancer and also our newest co-worker and former solar installer, Nick Schluter. Nick, how are you? Great, Pat. How are you today? Not too bad. I, actually, I'm really excited about the topic that we're going to be discussing today, which is very important, especially to new installers, and that's how to perform a site assessment correctly. Yeah, so anytime that you go out and visit a client for the first time, you want to make sure that you grab all the proper information on one trip. Now, this client could be an hour, two hours, even more than that away from your office. You really want to make sure that you get all the right information right away, especially if the customer decides that they do want to go solar. You want to make sure that you have all the information ready to go to keep this project rolling. Before you uh, get into this, I just want to say from the point of view of a designer, a former designer, the site assessment is probably the most important thing that the engineer or designer of record is going to be able to use to be able to facilitate those designs. So it's very important. And so talk a little bit more about the site survey. Right. So to go out and perform a perfect site survey, your goal is to ultimately make sure that the remainder of the project, if the client decides to go solar, goes very smooth and doesn't have any obstacles in the way. So the first thing that I like to do when I go out to a job site is look and see if there's any shaded areas that near maps or Google Earth maybe didn't pick up. The next thing that I look for is any roof obstructions. Perhaps there's a vent that you didn't see mm -hmm. that might obstruct the solar panel from going in. The third thing that I like to look for is what's the pitch of the roof? This is something that you might not always see from an aerial image on the internet. And when you go out to install, the steeper that roof pitch is, the more dangerous technically it is for your crew, which means they're gonna be working a little slower and a little bit safer. So when you're bidding your job from the installer's perspective, it's good to know what the pitch of the roof is that you're working on. Also, speaking of the roof, you wanna check the condition of the roof. Okay. If the roof looks like it needs to be repaired or there might be some damages or some leaks, I would always advise to have the client look into having their roof repaired prior to going solar. So if that's everything for the outside of the home or business. When it comes to going into the inside, you wanna take a look at the condition of the main electrical service panel in the house. Now, what we recommend doing, if possible, is going out with a licensed professional mm -hmm. that can remove the outside cover from the service panel, and you can actually see what the condition of the existing service panel is and if you need to make any sort of an upgrade. Now, the number one thing that I think you should do with all the other things that I just listed is take pictures. Always have a visual reference for all these different things so that you're not going back out or asking the client to take pictures of certain things. That's our job as the installer. Mm -hmm. And what about video? Does anybody ever take videos? Absolutely. Video is great too because you can actually provide uh, some explainer to here's the condition of the attic or here's the condition of the roof or it's 3 p.m. and there's shade on this portion of mm -hmm. the roof. And what else do we give the installers to help them go along and do these site surveys? Yeah, so if you create a Green Lancer account, you can actually go in and get a site survey form. It can be residential, it can be commercial, but we've put all of these things in one convenient spot for you to take one document out into the field and write down everything so that you don't have to make multiple trips to a job site. That's great. Well, for more tips on how to assess for success, visit GreenLancer.com and thanks for watching.